어릴 때 원했던 어른이 되나 Thought I found Oh w h she's mine 너제가 달렸던 나 Let's just take it slowly 늦지 못한 때 같은 곳을 바라보고 있잖아 Go anywhere you want to Underneath the passion I Oh, sometimes wish I cozy it's so warm and it's a little sweet i actually saw cafe maddie post a reel making a korean sweet potato latte and it looks so simple and just cozy so i already had some sweet potatoes from the korean market and i've been meaning to cook them so it was perfect timing to see that video and try this recipe out mm. that's so good I have my blender inside the dishwasher right now, so I didn't get to blend it. I kind of just mashed it up, so the texture is kind of chunky, but it's so creamy. And I didn't expect it to be sweet because I didn't put like a lot of sweet in it, but that sweet potato is already sweet and delicious. <laughs> Wish I knew it too Fly away from tomorrow 이제는 너무 멀리 와 버렸던 거야 yeah. I, I, I need you You, you, you need me too I'm still chasing that I made this dish called lo cha. It's a Cambodian dish that my mom makes me, and I always explain it as like it's wiggly noodles, but it's stir fried noodles. It's kind of like udon noodles, but shorter. And I stir fried it with Chinese sausage, and then um, eggs, and chives, uh, with some garlic as well. And then I topped it off with some fresh Thai chili peppers. I'm gonna add sriracha too. Oh, my mom would make this for breakfast. Sometimes she wouldn't scramble the eggs in. She'd actually fry an egg and just top it off. And I like that because if you fry it that way, you can leave the yolk runny, and then you can mix it in. This is so quick to make. I think it only took me like 30 minutes to make, and that includes prep and the cook time. You just stir fry everything and then add all like the sauces, ingredients, and it's so flavorful. I think the chives really make a difference. It's so much flavor. It's rainy tonight and perfect for some leftover ramen. I didn't have that much ramen left over from last night, but I added some udon noodles to it, so there's a lot more going on in here now. And I warmed up some of these leftovers from one of the holiday parties. What is this called? Fun book luck. Fun book luck. Rice wrapped shrimp and pork. 
and then we put some Nook Mom on it and it has like Hi chili peppers on it as well, so a little spicy. So we got a leftover meal today and I think it'll be great. So for dessert I have this everyday essential seeds konjac jelly. This is the Korean pear flavor. There's jelly in here, so you have to squeeze it to break it up. So fun. Mm. Cat lives the best life. I'll hit the ground if you keep on looking at me like that. And you don't know what you do to me. And I would probably go and mend it all if you found out. No. It was clear skies from day one. Got me so high. Boom, turn spaceship. We in that UFO sign. My eating schedule is a little off today. I had donuts this morning and then I went to Pilates at 12.30 and a run afterward. This is my first like real meal. So I finally got to cook and it's like 5.30 already. It's basically dinner time. So this is like a late, late lunch, early dinner. We made caramelized pork belly with eggs. In Cambodian, this is called Ka Sechu Jamang Wong Thie, which is just pork with eggs or caramelized pork with eggs. I think a familiar name for this is Tikha. That's the Vietnamese name for this dish. My dad will cook this with bamboo shoots and then I'll add lime on it. My husband like always freaks out when I put lime on. He's like, no, you're not supposed to eat it with lime. But that's how I grew up eating it. I like that citrus flavor. It makes it fresh. I topped it with green onions and Thai chili peppers. Mm -hmm. I was good. Yay. You got me. Just get back from the grocery store. I went for, uh, I needed to go because I needed milk to make matcha ice cream, but I got all my groceries and I'm also gonna be making some breakfast burritos this morning. So excited for this matcha ice cream because I've been craving it all week since I had the matcha latte.
this burritos are done. I get a lot of good stuff in here. I use chorizo meat and then I also have sweet potatoes in here as well as um, eggs, lactose free cheese, and then I add in mushrooms. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. I use this spinach herb tortilla and then I've got some salsa. Not salsa. I put a lot of eggs in there because the chorizo meat is like really flavored. Mm. I also put avocado, some red onion, and cilantro in mine. All that good stuff in there. I was hoping these would be like giant burritos, but I think the tortillas I got were too small for that. That's amazing. waiting for the ice cream to harden and just become that ice cream texture. It's really liquidy right now, so it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to see how it is in like 10 minutes. It's maybe been like 5 minutes and I can already see it kind of getting like icy. For dinner today, we're finishing the leftover caramelized pork belly with eggs that I got yesterday or that I made yesterday. I think leftovers, but this looks more delicious than it did yesterday because it really got to like soak in all the sauce so the eggs are like very seasoned and then the meat will be like extra flavorful today. Hello Astro, it's my dinner time. first thing I'm video recording today for what I'm eating. Um, earlier we went to a barbecue for lunch and uh, that kind of left us full for most of the day and I'm getting a snack now. My ice cream is finally ready. So this is my matcha ice cream that I made yesterday and it was so smooth like scooping out. Uh, I like this recipe for that smoothness but then the ice cream is kind of melting already. I can kind of see it's not holding up like its structure as well. You can see over here it's kind of dripping, but let's give it a taste. Mmm, wow, that's so good. Super matcha flavor. Mmm, yum. The barbecue we ate today was pretty heavy so I wasn't really hungry like all day. Now I'm just eating a little piece of salmon, some rice, and these spicy addicting cucumbers. They look amazing, they taste amazing, they really are addicting. This is my first time having miso glazed salmon. I saw a lot of people make this like on TikTok. I stuck with Tiffy Cook's recipe and I didn't have dashi powder so no, that's the only thing like I omitted. I am excited to eat this and finally try miso glazed salmon. Take a bite. Ooh, I might have made it too dry. <laughs> it's kind of dry. <laughs> 400 degrees at 10 minutes is a little too much. I think next time I just maybe will like glaze it again with the sauce to get more flavor in there. Put some cucumbers on it. Okay, bite. Mm -hmm. 
so it's perfect that the salmon is not too saucy because the cucumbers also have a lot of flavor to it so adding that on makes it a little more flavorful well it's saturday night and it's the end of the week so that's a full week of what i ate this week i hope you all enjoyed it it's also like the end of the first week of 2024 i'm hoping in this new year i'm cooking a lot more and i'd like it to share with it i'd like to share it with you all so if you like this video be sure to press that like button i appreciate it thanks for watching bye